cross-court drive, watch the video to figure out why you shouldn't play this shot. Before we move into this video, it would mean a lot to me and I know to Morten Frost as well. If you take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel, then we would be able to provide a lot of new great badminton content. So what I'd like to focus on is a cross-court drive in doubles. In a specific situation, let's say your opponent, they play a drop shot to the net or a shot to the mid-court. What feels super natural for, I would say, almost 100% of, of any double player is playing that cross-court drive. So if I get the shuttle on my backhand side, I would really like to turn the initiative, play the cross-court drive to be able to, as I mentioned, get the initiatives. But it is such a dangerous shot to play. Very often, the net player from your opponent are super ready in, in covering that cross-court drive. And if they are able to catch it, then almost you have lost the rally. So it's a specific situation we're talking about in the video. You get a shot in your mid-court, you actually feel you're in a pretty good position. And then you play that cross-court drive, which is, I would say, almost the biggest trap of them all in a doubles game. So many players are amazing in covering that. If I should look into some of the top players that I would never do it, it only causes trouble. I would say Kevin Sukamulu. He's always ready for that one. And if you play it, you will lose 100%. What shot could you play instead of the cross cut? I would say any other shot. Play a high lift because actually you don't have the initiative yet. You could play a cross court, but you just need to put height into it so the front player can't catch the shuttle. You could play a drop shot and try to move to the net yourself. Any other shot than going for that cross court drive. It's really a, um, a, a page one in the double rules. Don't play this one. I totally understand why you want to play it. I have personally also done it a million times myself, especially when the game gets, gets a bit close and you feel a bit tense, then it's just the easiest one to try that, that cross-court drive. I think it's a mental thing. You need to put focus on that. If you have it right there on the mid-court and, and you have it in an okay position, do any other shot. You really need to focus on that, I would say, because it is a habit for so many players. So I've been talking about this tricky situation, the cross-court drive. As I said, you can play any other shot. Just don't play that cross-court drive because the net player, the front player, are ready for that one. And they're so good covering that. So choose another shot. If you do like this video and some of our other videos, we would really be happy if you subscribe to our YouTube channel.